This video is intended to give just a very short introduction to uh, virtual fieldwork. This is the virtualfieldwork.org homepage. Uh, you'll find a quick little video here that uh, you can check out if you want a little bit more info. Um, the main thing that I want to show is the virtual fieldwork database and one example of a virtual fieldwork experience. It often takes a moment for the map to load. And um, we're going to start uh, with a visit to Dinosaur Ridge outside of Denver, Colorado, adjacent to Red Rocks Park. And the point of the place marks are in the location, so we're going here. Each one of those will bring up a um, description with a, what we think of what we call an iconic image of the site, uh, followed by an abstract that describes what's in the resource, and either one or two links at the bottom. One, two, if there's just one, it's to the virtual fieldwork experience. If it's two, it's to uh, the second one is to the associated Google Earth file. We're going to start by looking at the VFE in Prezi, which many of the newer ones have a Prezi component. Almost all of them have a Google Earth component. And um, we'll do a very quick fly through of this and just point out a couple of highlights. And it's actually already open in another window, so I'm going to go to the other window. And go to home. Let's turn this off by looking at that and going to full screen. Uh, there is a path through this that you can follow, which is annotated along the way, and I'll put the link to this along with the uh, other information in the support letter template. Um, and you can see that Prezi's allow you to put pictures within pictures, which allows you to zoom in pretty much as much as you want. Uh, and I am going to skip ahead to the um, graphic organizer, which uh, has at the top a version of the project driving question. The generic version of this is why does this place look the way it does for Dinosaur Ridge. We're looking at Dinosaur Ridge so we want to know why that looks the way it does. This is created using a template that we put together that um, under the overarching question has a series of series sort of of other questions that can be asked about anywhere and that's an important lesson of the work is that there's there are questions you can productively ask about any field site um, for all of the questions within this whole thing. We have some supporting questions uh, about the general nature of science issues, sort of. Um, how do you know what you know? And what, what, do you, what evidence is there to support what you think about why this place looks the way it does? What does it tell you about past environments and what does it imply about the future? There are a series of, for the Earth Science Graphic Organizer, a series of six what we call arrow level questions, um, which again are phrased generically and can be asked about anywhere, with supporting questions that can also be asked about any site. And um, within this template, you can customize it to your own site. Uh, here we're looking at information from Dinosaur Ridge. This is a screen grab of a GigaPan. And you can click there and load it, but we'll actually look at that from within Google Earth. Um, so uh, there are, like I said, a series of six arrow level questions for the Earth Science Graphic Organizer. One of those is describe the ecosystem, which then points to another graphic organizer for ecology or environmental science. Um, same questions in the globe, but then other questions that are more about the ecosystem than about the geology. And um, f from within here, you can um, place in your own imagery and other information in addition to imagery as well. Uh, and you can explore around there. There's also an associated Google Earth file, which you can either download from here or download from the database map that we started with. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to flip over to Google Earth. <coughs> and I've opened it up, and I've clicked on the geologic map and the map info, and I'm going to go ahead and go there. 
and zoom on in. And um, specifically look at oh, uh, come back to that. Um, specifically look at how to sort of look at this. Um, and uh, what we're looking at, I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. Here is Dinosaur Ridge. The dinosaur footprints that we looked at on the iconic image are over on this side. Um, it shows classic layer cake geology, um, where we've got the top of the cake here, and we'll talk about what that means in just a minute. Um, and the layers going along here. And um, we put together some tutorials to help you explore things like this and other things too. And we're going to start off by <coughs> going to the set of place marks uh, called View Across Time and start with number one, which is looking straight down from above with north at the top of the screen. And again, we're looking at uh, layer cake technology and what that geology rather. And um, to help you understand what that means, we'll fly around from a couple of different perspectives. So now we're looking down the ridge, and there should be a label, um, looking due north along the ridge. And you can see again those layers there, and the top layer here is tilting out of the earth. And then we'll swing around to another view, looking into the layer cake. So here's a layer, here's a layer, here's a layer, here's a, a continuation of that same layer. Uh, and we'll swing around to look at the top of the cake and go to looking due east. So now we're looking down on that. And you can explore, you can Hold down the shift key and click and drag and view it from whatever perspective you want. But that's intended to help understand um, the layer cake technology or geology. I keep saying. Um, we can turn off the map and swing around to look at a gigapan, which is a gigapixel resolution imagery. Um, of, uh, in this case, the dinosaur footprints at Dinosaur Ridge, the best set of dinosaur footprints at Dinosaur Ridge, and you can see you can zoom in pretty close on them. These are uh, darkened with charcoal periodically to make them show up. Uh, that is some of what you can do in a VFE, and one last thing that I want to show is um, stepping out to um, a set of photos taken um, with, a, with a smartphone and they're automatically geolocated, georeferenced, um, so that you can um, upload them to Google Earth and they'll appear wherever it is that they are. And here you can see uh, a whole bunch of photographs along um, the road, along um, Dinosaur Ridge, and I'm going to stop with that.